What's up guys, Rhino here and welcome to my first ever FIFA 20 video. Now a lot of you guys probably know already that the web app did go live yesterday for Ultimate Team, what the fuck, however you want to call it. Um, and this video is basically just going to be almost at the start of the road to glory and also I'm going to be having two accounts on the go this year guys. So I'm going to have one which is going to be a, like mainly FIFA point base, more like a pay to win sort of account. Um, so I'm going to be setting up both of the accounts on the web app in this video today, guys. Um, I would have done it yesterday, but just been feeling, feeling a bit like shit really. I've got stinking cold, probably tell my voice is a little bit off. I, I do apologise if I have to keep sort of like sniffing a lot. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm well enough to do this. It's, it's not like I'm ill. It just, I might sound a little bit odd. Um, but this particular account, uh... I believe, I don't know if it might not even actually be a way to tell actually on the web app because um, I don't think we have access to FIFA points on it but what one of them is going to be pay to win, one of them is going to be the road to glory um, I'll be able to tell once I'm on the actual game because the one which is pay to win will have the FIFA point discount because of EA access and all that um, but yeah we're, we're going we're gonna to crack into this um, still got me registered there as Rhino Gaming 2 I mean that's outrageous so we're going to go ahead, uh, choose a starter pack, okay, so I'm just going to go for England, I always go for England, I think it's the best one for all the various SBCs, okay, so to go straight into it, we've got Danny Welbeck, um, Steve Cook, I want to say, and then another Bournemouth player, looks like Sermon, and more, and then a load of bronze players, um, kind of the usual guys, nothing really like out of the ordinary really. Uh, I don't really want to focus like too much on on the web app to be honest. I, it's going to be sort of as quick and easy as I can possibly get this. Um, what am I actually supposed to be doing here? Select the player on your squad to replace with a high rated loan player. Okay, that's fine. So we will get ourselves a striker because that would make sense. Um, we get choices of Aguero, Suarez, Lewandowski or Kane or even Cavani there as well just hidden at the end. Um, they're all for four games except Cavani would be for five. Um, so uh, well, I'll, I'll take Aguero. He looks the he looks the most usable. We'll take him for four games. Um, but yeah, like I said, like the web up doesn't really interest me greatly to be honest. Like, hence why I didn't even do it on the day that it's come out. I've, I've mainly just been waiting for EA access to drop, and it's at the time of recording. You, you probably see it in the bottom um, bottom right hand corner. The time half one in the afternoon at the moment. Still not out as of yet. Um, and I, I, I just don't know when it's going to come out. It just doesn't seem like it's going to be coming anytime soon. We'll take that kit. It almost looks a bit like the Argentina home kit, which looks quite nice. So we'll take that. Um, and then we'll get ourselves. Let's go for the Wolves kit because we get like a light and a dark kit. That's quite good. Not too bad. Um, and then badge wise, I mean, we've got some decent ones though. We've got Barcelona, New York Red Bulls as well, Santos. Interesting badges. Uh, I will go with New York Red Bulls. Why not? looks quite cool um, so there you go quick little summary of the club we've, we've gone for an English based starting team uh, with Aguero as a loan player we could, to be fair we could have gone for Kane actually thinking about it for chemistry wise but to be honest I doubt I'll use the loan player I don't normally like to use them uh, a couple of decent kits there and fairly interesting badge but that's not really what we're kind of here for now we've got these loyalty rewards this is the thing these two different accounts will have slightly different rewards I would have I would have thought purely because one of them uh, last year was literally the only year that Ultima Team had been played on that account and the other one actually has been going since like FIFA 12 so I I'm not sure which way around it is I think this is the I think this is the one which only has one year on it so possibly not as many rewards on this one in comparison to the other one which I'll show you guys in a bit we do get four all players packs and two gold packs a lone player reward pack and a coin boost, a thousand coins for 15 matches, oh that's quite good actually. Uh, and a daily login reward, 250 coins, that was obviously a downside to me not going on yesterday as I've, I've missed out on a daily reward but to be honest, I don't really care too much, it's, it's not the end of the world. We'll whack those kits in the club, um, which I probably won't use, but mainly just really going to be cracking open the packs on here. I was kind of debating whether to actually even do it, um, what on earth is going on with my monitor? Um, Bloody like massive green light on my monitor then, that doesn't look too good, let me just switch that off. Um, yeah, it's, it's mainly just going to be packs because 
there's there's not really a lot to go through. You can spend a lot of time on the whereabout guys if you want to like trade and all that sort of bits and bobs, but I'm not going to do that in this video. I just want to show you guys what players I get. I feel like it'd be quite good for you guys to know what I get in my packs. Um, chances are it's going to be pretty underwhelming, but why not? We want to show the whole kind of journey throughout the course of this FIFA for the uh, for the road to glory and all that. So yeah, it's it's always good to do it. Um, I'm just going to stick everything in the club for now. Uh, it would just be quite good to kind of beef up the club a bit. It's up to you guys. You, if you, when you do this, I mean, a, a lot of you've probably already done it by now, but you could try and sell some of your items. Personally, I think it'd probably be better to keep the players because they'll probably go up in value a bit once the game actually comes out because there'll be a bit more demand. Obviously, people want to get them for their squads. Um, but it's entirely up to you. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Shit! Oh no! Oh no! How? Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking let's go! Come on! Oh my god, I didn't even clock who that was at first! Shit! 88 year old Tony Crows, is that in a gold pack? That's a fucking gold pack. Oh my god. i finally done it on the fucking web app. Oh my god. I, literally, I should stop swearing. Seriously, I should stop swearing. But, oh my god. Guys, in I've been playing Ultimate Team since FIFA 11, right? On like a few various different accounts for that. Never, ever, ever on the web app have I ever got a player that's been above an 82 rating. I literally expect nothing out of this. Tony Kroos, 88 rated. Oh my god. I feel like an, I almost feel like a bit of a knob because I know a lot of you guys will have literally got bugger all and I always moan when people get stuff like that and I've finally done it. I mean, this is incredible and this is on the road to glory as well, I'm pretty sure and I, I, sh I should mention as well, the road to glory is not going to be like a standard road to glory like last year. This is going to be a first owner road to glory this year, guys. So that Tony Kroos is just going to go straight into my team. He's not going to be, like, amazing, but, I mean, you can't complain. It's tradable as well. How much is he going for on the market? Oh, my God. Wow, that's not actually a lot. That's, like, tw that's that's really cheap. Once, like, SBCs come out and once the game comes out, he will go for so much more. 12k for an 88 rated. That's incredible. Wow. Guys, if you've got coins... Pick up a Tony Crows for 12k. I mean, that's you, you can't go wrong with that. That's incredible. I, I apologise to most people out there, um, but you know what? I, I feel like I'm due to play. Here we go. All players pack. We get a rare gold in Stark. This has actually been very, very good so far. We we're just getting players to bolster the club. We managed to get high rate card as well. I mean, this is incredible. He was actually one player that I was looking at getting in a star squad. Maybe um, he's quite like an OP centre back, isn't he? So very, very good there. These all seem to be tradable as well. I tell you what, if we get another player like Kroos on the other account, we will be laughing. Be absolutely phenomenal. Not really a lot going on in that one. The, the rare is actually the bronze, but to be honest, we can't really complain much more um, for that. I mean, this is incredible. We Pack like last year for us was not, not great, to be honest. We, we managed to get the odd thing, but I think for the amount of packs that we opened, we really didn't do too well. Um, but literally second pack this year, get Tony Crows. I mean, oh, that's incredible. Let's go with a lone player war pack um, just to get this out of the way. So we get Van Dyke. I think it said that it was... Oh, you, oh, okay, oh, okay. You literally get those same three players. I thought it was maybe like a choice of the three, but you literally get those. So all the cover stars, basically, Van Dyke, Sancho, and Vinicius Jr. Um, very good players. Obviously, throw that in with Aguero as well. All those lone players, that's not too shabby at all. Um, we got one final pack. You know, it'd be nice to get something else, but I don't expect it. And there's El Nenny there. Uh, so the rare's not going to be gold. It's going to be bronze again. So actually, in three of these all-player packs, we had rare bronzes, which, you know, is not, not brilliant, but it's not, not really the end of the world. We've we've done well on that account. Um, 250 coins there. See how the team week and all that. Um, I, like I said, I don't really want to go into this in like too much depth because I feel like this sort of thing will do once the game actually drops. That will be at some point today. It's, it's scheduled to come out today, but I have no idea what time. Um, not really a lot going on in the store at the moment, which is understandable. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head off of this account and I will go on to my other account, provided I don't have any problems with it. Um, I haven't actually tried logging onto that one yet, so hopefully it's all fine. 
um, yeah, and then we'll have a few more packs to open. So I will be right back. All right then, guys. So we are on to another account. Just ignore that name there that's on there. Um, I mean, that's <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but um, that was just one of my old PlayStation accounts that I used from like FIFA 12. Um, and you, you can see why I made a new account for the channel. Um, <laughs> but obviously, that was before you could change the name. I've, I've since I've changed the uh, the PlayStation ID and all that, but I don't know how to change that. That's probably a way to in the settings or something. But Anyway, let's move it on. We'll go with England again because, like I said, I think that's best one for all these like starter SBCs and all that. You get a lot of good links. There's four different leagues. Uh, we do get Michael Keane in this one, which is quite a good player. Uh, 80 rated centre back. Sermon again. Uh, oh, sorry. That oh, that's Cook. That's not Sermon. That's Cook. So we had two Cooks. <laughs> Too many Cooks for all the broth, eh? And then we've got Dwight Gale there. Um, have we got anything in the reserves? We've got a well, a silver Cardiff player, which. I don't know how necessarily good that's going to be. I know last year, if you got that on the last week, that would have been incredible for the uh, Premier League SBC, but I doubt it would be anywhere near as good this year. Um, again, we're going to take ourselves a striker. In fact, we literally got the exact same choices again. You know what? We're going to go for Aguero purely because that got us luck with Tony Crow. so you never know. We might be able to do that again. Um, I don't know what kind of packs we're going to get here. They may be exactly the same. They may be more, maybe less. Um, wow, we've got to go for the Liverpool kit. Look at that. That is stunning. Um, and then let's go with let's go with a Polish kit. Get a red one there. Fits with kind of Liverpool theme. Oh my god, we cannot take that badge. That is. We'll go with Unam. That looks very good. We we'll go with that badge. Right. Very good. Let's get ourselves going. Uh, looks pretty similar to last time. A couple of kits there. Two all players packs this time. So they must literally just base it off of the previous year, not actually, not how many ultimate teams you've, or how many kind of years you've been involved, I suppose. Because um, I didn't play anywhere near as many games on this account last year, if any at all, really. Only a few kind of draft games towards the back end. Um, so only two packs on this one, one lone pack and 500 coins five matches so we don't even get the we don't even get the gold packs which we got the uh, Tony Crows in so we're probably not going to get a lot on this account unfortunately uh a bronze reward pack are there as well um so not any coins to go in the account which is a little bit unfortunate but I mean it's not really it's not really the end of the world um yeah let's let's see what we do so we, we got the lone player reward pack uh, I've still got unassigned items just stick that in there um, Lone player reward pack, which of course is going to be Van Dijk, Sancho, and Vinicius, which we'll throw into the club. Uh, let's do the bronze reward pack as well, get that out of the way. Not a lot going on there. We get Hamilton, SBC player. There's Bayern 2. What is that? That's like a cheaper way to get the Bayern Munich badge. I, I don't know, I'm not really sure what that is. It's a bit unusual, isn't it? Because there's no way the normal Bayern Munich badge would, would be bronze, and it's clearly stated there that it's Bayern Munich the second or so. Maybe like a B team. I don't know. I didn't think that would be on FIFA though. Um, pretty unusual that. But yeah, we'll throw that all into the club. Um, it does leave us with two. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> two all players packs. As I just completely lose my voice, which we get Hendrix in, uh, PSV Dutch player Andy Carroll there. There's it, the, well, the rare, sorry, the silver uh, this time. And yeah, a few kind of bits and pieces. Um, and one more pack, and then I'm probably going to wrap it up, guys. As you can tell, I'm, I'm, my voice is going a little bit. Um, Anderson, the Danish centre back from Lyon. That's a new, he must have transferred there maybe, or maybe he used to be a silver or something last year, I'm not sure. I haven't really seen him before. But yeah, quite a basic pack in general, really, to be honest there. Um, not, not a lot going on. It's, it's going to be interesting to see if any of those players will become of any use at some point. I don't really know at the moment. Once the game drops, we'll know a little bit more. <coughs> um, blimey, I'm literally dying it. Um, yeah, so the, your account has not earned access to the transfer market on the web app and companion apps yet. Continue playing FUT on PS4 to access or to unlock the transfer market. I kind of expected that. So this is obviously like my older account, which hasn't played enough to get onto the transfer market on here um, yeah actually that that means that 
this was going to be initially going to be the uh, the Road to Glory account. So that means I've actually that Tony Kroos is not actually on my Road to Glory. So I, I got that wrong actually when I said that earlier. This is actually the Road to Glory here um, because that's how I've how I've done my EA Access. I I basically purchased uh, a month of EA Access on one account and a year's worth on another. So the one which I got a year's worth was the one which I was going to be opening packs on because of obviously the uh, the Thief Point discount. Um, so this particular account here, I only have a month's worth of it on it. Hence why it's going to be the first owner road to glory. So kind of unfortunate I didn't get Tony Kroos on the first owner road to glory, but. At the same time, I don't think he would have lasted particularly long in the start of 11. He would have been more like an SBC player. Or I may have even just sold him so that I could, um, I don't know, maybe just throw some throw some coins into packs or whatever. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to buy anybody off the market because then they wouldn't be first owner. But um, yeah, interesting nonetheless. These are sort of players we work with on the on the first owner race glory. So I'm, you might see a little bit more of these particular players. Like Andy Carroll, I might use him. Uh, like tonight or so on release day, I, I don't know. I, it'd be interesting to see how I get on with that, how I make a squad. Um, but yeah, that is going to be it, guys, for this particular video. Web app, pretty basic stuff. Just getting your packs, getting a few players in the club, just getting going. It just kind of whets the appetite, really, for the actual game. I've literally just been like spamming EA access, like most of you guys would have been doing. And like, it's like when the web app was um, potentially going to be launching, I was just kept refreshing the web app, waiting for it to come out. Just literally cannot wait any longer now. Just super excited. Um, and yeah, it, it will it will come eventually. And it will be it'll be superb just to get going and to just to grind out a bit more content for you guys, really. Um, I will obviously, of course, have a big pack opening on the way on my pay to win account. So stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys, if well, hopefully you were quite lucky in your packs. And if you haven't done them yet, if you haven't gone onto the web app yet, then uh, make sure you get yourselves on there. Get your daily rewards, open your packs. Hopefully you do as well as I did with getting that Tony Kroos. Um, let me know what you guys have got in your packs and if you're looking forward to, or like what you're looking forward to in uh, the new Ultimate Team season the most in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, you want to do so, that'd be much appreciated. Um, yeah, then feel free. But that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you later.